بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد We make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq and the opportunity to benefit from this Mubarak month of Ramadan. This is a guest and when a guest comes to visit us, according to the status of the guest, do we make preparation accordingly. If it's a normal average person, a friend, how do we prepare? If it's a great sheikh, if it's a Ali, a scholar, a renowned scholar, what preparations do we make? If it's a president of a country, what preparations do we make? Thus, Mubarak, guest of Ramadan, is at our doorstep. We need to see how we can maximize on this opportunity this time. Like now, with the current situation globally, People are looking for opportunities. Oil markets have crashed. Should we invest there? Gold, is it a safe haven? Should we put our funds there? Whoever has funds and knows the opportunity to maximize are looking for every opportunity now. They're saying this is, speculators are saying this is one of the biggest opportunities ever in time. Whereas the whole world is in a depression, uh, economies are down, there is complete chaos in the world. But there are people that have seen opportunity in this. So we've got this opportunity, this Mubarak month of Ramadan. If someone was told that I'm going to give you a machine, every time you pull the lever it will print out, it will mint one Kuruga coin but you only have it for 24 hours. This person won't worry about eating, he won't worry about sleeping, he won't worry about any other responsibility. He'll ignore his wife, he'll ignore his children, he'll ignore his friends, he'll ignore his phone, his WhatsApp messages, his statuses. He'll say, I'll leave it all for afterwards. Now this is a priority. So when something is important, then we give it priority. If it's not important, then there's no importance, there's no priority, there's no uh, gravity in our hearts to motivate us to do something. So based on our level and our jizba and our shock, will a person act and benefit from this month of Ramadan? Malana used to say, do what you're supposed to do. If you do what you're supposed to do, you will not do what you're not supposed to do. So if we are engaging in those amal, automatically the barakat of those amal will ward off all the other negative actions which may come. So we need to be checking now what amal I should be doing. Malay Namlasan used to say most of the fitnas in the ummah today is because the ummah does not know what to do with their free time. So there are many people who make time and there are many people who just pass time. Those that are passing time are just looking for opportunities so that time can pass by. Those people won't maximize. But there are other people who want to make their time valuable. Every minute is important, every second is important. So this Mubarak month is the month of Taqwa. And every amal has a zahir and a batin, the outward and the inward. The outward is fasting, abstaining from eating, abstaining from relations. So this is the outward action. But the batin, the inward action is the taqwa. So we can have a, a supercar, but it has a VW engine, it's not going to perform. Why? Because the inside is not original. So we won't see the results we should be seeing. So besides just staying hungry, where Nabi alayhi salam has said, Kam min sa'imin laysa lahu min siyamihi illa al-ju'um. The people will fast, but their fast is just staying hungry. 
People will read Salat Kam min qaimin laysa lahu min qiyami illa sahar People will be just staying awake Outwardly they read in Salat Outwardly they are fasting But actually in reality it is just a formality It is just an action The batin, the ruh of that amal is not there Aqimis salata li dhikri we read in Salat, but one of the objectives of Salat, so people are reading for one year, two years, five years, fifty years of Salat, but did we read such a Salat li dhikri? Dhikr in Arabic gives you the meaning of consistency, perpetually, dawam. Read such a Salat that you remember Allah all the time. So if I've read Salat, mashallah, in the books of Hadith, I've written our first is done, but I've not achieved the batin, the inward desire of Salat. That a person reads Salat, they leave the masjid, but they disobey Allah. Walana Ubaidullah rahmatullah used to say, Ketum Allah ku dal sakte. You cannot deceive Allah. He said in Salat, in the masjid, in front of Allah, you are saying, Oh Allah, I need hidayat. Oh Allah, I need hidayat. Ihdina sirat al-mustaqim. That is my greatest need. And that, immediately after your Salat, when you leave the masjid, you break the command of Allah. He said, you cannot deceive Allah. Who are you trying to deceive? One pious person was reading Salat. He said, today I'm going to read such a Salat I've never read in my life. He came, and a voice from the ancient came, You are speaking a lie. So after combinating his salat, he pondered and he realized that whenever he had a need, he turned to medication. So he went and he gave away all his medication and he made tawbah. So again he started his salat, إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ And a voice came again, كَذَبْتَ You have spoken a lie. After salat he pondered again, what am I doing wrong? And he realized that he had a love and affinity to clothing. So he gave that away. إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ Again, كَذَبْتَ He thought again, he said, yeah, I, 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 I've, I've saved for rainy days when I need to solve my problems, I turn to wealth. I don't ask Allah first. Maybe that's the problem. إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ Then the voice came, صَدَقْتَ That you have? spoken the truth so deen and the mizaj of deen so that was one of salat and qad aflah al-mu'minun alladheena hum fi salatihim khashi'un successful are the believers who in their salat is khushu and concentration you read such a salat you had so much jian of allah that it will perpetuate till the next salat the awareness the jian of allah in a salat at tanhan al-fahsha how will salat stop you from guna when you read a Salat, the Salat was read how it's supposed to be. So likewise fasting. Either it's just another month, another time, a lockdown, I'm, I'm passing, my, passing my time, or am I making my time? This is such a month where Nabi alayhi salatu was salam was rahmatul lil alameen made the badwa for a person who never benefited from this month. So that individual who's a mercy to mankind is making badwa. Man adraka shahra Ramadan falam yufallahu. Whoever sees, witnesses this month of Ramadan and does not get his maghfirah. Likewise, he made other two badwas. To teach the Ummah the gravity and the, the veracity 
and the importance of this month that this is an occasion. So one was taqwa. Shahru Ramadan al-lazi unzil fihi al-Qur'an hudal lin-nas in hidayat. So through fasting, through tilawat of Qur'an, through salat, these are all a'mal where we can draw hidayat. So a person is saying, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. He's even driving on the road. He sees a na mahram female, a beautiful female. He looks at her. What is this being? He says, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. That is not istighfar. Again, like how fasting was a formality, how istighfar is a formality. So the zahir and the batin, we need to get the ruh, the batin of all the amal of deen. Just to understand that, we know Hazrat and heard the name of Hazrat Bilal radiallahu an, a famous, a great Sahabi was the Mu'azin of the Rasul of Allah, Atwalu a'naq al al qiyamah, among the highest stages in Akhirah. But Hazrat Abdullah ibn Zayd ibn Abdi Rabbi was a Sahabi, not many people even have heard his name or know the Sahabi. Nabi alayhi salam was making mashwara about the methodology to call the Ummah to the Masjid for Salah. Certain rise opinions were given, whether ring the ringing of a bell, blowing of a horn, etc. Thus, Sabi had very grievous, serious fikr. He had the gham, the grief of the Nabi of Allah. Then Allah showed him a dream. فَفَرِيهَا النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَمْ بِهَذَا الرُّؤْيَا فَرْحًا شَدِيدًا Nabi alayhi salam was extremely happy on the news of the dream of the Sahabi. Ulama say that all the adhan tal qiyama, he will get the reward. So on the back end, the ruh, the grief, one was a zahir, one was a batin. Sulaiman alayhi salam, the jinn thought they knew the unseen, and that was common at the, those times. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it such that when Sulaiman alayhi salam passed away, then he was leaning on his stick. And Allah decided that Sulaiman alayhi salam should depart from this world. None of the jinns knew that he had passed away. Some Mufassirin explained a year had passed. Allah kept his body fresh. Ambiya alayhi salatu wasalam's body do not decompose. Illa dabatul ardi ta'kulu min sa'ata. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent an insect to consume the stick of Sulaiman alayhi salam. And when Falamma Khara Sulaiman salam fell, the stick got eaten up, the jinn came to know that Lokanu Ya Alamun al Ghaib that they didn't know the unseen. If they knew the unseen, so much time would not have passed in this ignorance. There is a lot of examples in Sharia to show us the Zahir and the Batin. This is a Mubarak man for us to get this batin, one sign is taqwa, not temporary suspending guna, but permanently deleting sin. When a person makes an intention, he's going to stop something, then he's serious about it. A person that's a compulsive smoker always says, I'm going to leave, but the day the doctor tells him that you, he has this mild heart attack and says if you carry on you're going to die and he felt the pain of death, he seen death in front of him, his oxygen was at his last and he says that's the last, there's a difference. So we have to see how we can maximize uh, on this opportunity. As Umar bin Abdul Aziz say, that we found the pious people, but they never seen a climax 
or an accomplishment in fasting or just salat walakin fil kaffi an i'rad nas but also fulfilling huquq al ibad the rights of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala buqaim al layl wa sa'im al nahar in lam yahfaz lisanahu aflas yawm al qiyam the dead person who's awake the whole night and uh, a whole day he is fasting if he's not protecting his tongue then he'll be the most muflis and bankrupt person on the day of qiyamah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of value in this blessed month achieving the taqwa making serious tauba and istighfar and drawing hidayat from the khazana and treasures of allah وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين